a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints, I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. Yo, what's up? This bruh man from the fifth float. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a waist set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she said she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It's, it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody. Uh, allegedly, it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video. And she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a liar. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even bought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was and Monique bought that shit out and, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be raped in front of me. The lying motherfucker. She knows she was lying. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren. Because nobody... Me, how do you have sweet babies when your own babies are with you? How do how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay? And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody f***s with you, not even your family. How do you, or oh, I was on the road, get it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you are fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. All right, we the Knockout Kings of Comedy. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me old. He's fucking lambskin condoms. <laughs> from Aldi's. The f*** wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the f*** that meat is. No! For real, I heard a nigga get f***ed in prison. That's not the f***ed part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my f***ing ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. 
<laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 pop. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no sir. Punchline, punchline, punchline. Get out of the car. Give me some. Yeah!